Travis Scott Henry here with Hammer at Home and this here is my entry for the 2015 Summer Woodworking 2x4 Contest and as you can tell here I did an end grain cutting board uh, the, the design was inspired by uh, David Picuto with the uh, Drunken Woodworker I really liked his design he basically did you know those angle cuts on the ends there and I pretty much followed that setup um, as you can tell from the very beginning, it was this is made out of SPF, which is the requirement for the contest. Um, and also, you saw at one point where I was trying to use uh, coffee to stain the thicker portions of the of the cutting board, and um, it did do somewhat what I intended it to do. Uh, and the reason why I had to do coffee stain is. If you use normal stain for a cutting board, you have the potential of putting any kind of toxic material in a cutting board that you really don't want to come in contact with your food. So I had to think about ways of trying to create contrasting wood that would not be harmful for your food and I chose to go with coffee. Now, it didn't quite darken the area that I wanted it to as much as I wanted it to, but it is what it is. Um, I'm sure if I had just kept applying coffee stain, probably 10 coats maybe, it probably would have gotten darker, but I just didn't spend the time to do that. And I didn't expect when I put the, uh, the, cutting, board, the cutting board oil on, I didn't expect the smaller strips to turn as red as they did. But, you know, in the end, it turned out the way I intended it to do. It, to me it looks pretty good. It's my first attempt. I do plan on doing a different cutting board. Um, so that's pretty much that and I guess all I can say is good luck for everybody that has decided to compete in the contest.